everybody welcome to kelly's creations so i said no more halloween videos but i had recorded this and i just wanted to share it with you this was my first attempt ever using epoxy resin oh my gosh and i had got this these molds last year because i had I had thought I was going to do a lot more of these for the Halloween season. Um, so I had uploaded the, or I had filmed this video and I ended up not having time to do any more. But this was so much fun. I had got this kit off of Amazon and I have been wanting to do a resin craft for so long. And it's always probably intimidated me a little bit so even this is a though it's a short video I thought I would share it with you in case anybody else is intimidated using resin um this was so much fun and I had watched a YouTube video where they use the shells from bullets and I have you guys have seen me use those in many videos and I had a bunch of them. So I thought, oh, this would be neat to do like a bullet shell resin skull for Halloween. Um, and my son actually loved this so much um, he took it. So <laughs> it's in his room. So you have to mix the um, resin exactly how the directions say. Okay, I think it's even parts of the hardener and the resin and you stir and stir and stir and stir and I made sure for three minutes this was stirred so there's all my little shells um when my husband and son went to the shooting range I kind of just filled up baggies full of them because everything I see is a mini so <laughs> I thought I could use them which I have used quite a few of them and I filled up the skull mold the resin and the molds I got off of Amazon. I'll have that link below if you're interested. But I just kept filling up that mold full of shells. And then I topped it off with those clear beads from Dollar Tree. So as I'm going, I'm filling up. Now, if you were to do the same exact DIY using shells, okay, to make a shell skull, um, make sure when you get to the top, that your shell's opening is facing down. That is one mistake I made. And because my shell opening was up, um, there was a hole in it. So just make sure they're all pointed down. So like I said, I filled the rest of them up and I had some resin left over and I actually filled them in one of my silicone molds and I'm gonna use that in a future project. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely gonna use resin again. So I let this sit for three days and then you pull the mold away. Look at that, oh my gosh. I have some bubbles, this was my first attempt, but not as many bubbles as I thought I would. Um, I did stir it up a little bit when it was in the mold but look at that. <laughs> I love con conversation pieces and it, oh, this is amazing. I didn't put as much as I should have. That's why I have that at the bottom. And you can see some bubbles around his eyes and nose. I think that's mostly because you can't get your stir stick in those crevices. But for the most part, it turned out pretty clear. I have a couple holes in the top where I said my shotgun shells or bullet shells were facing the wrong way. But yeah, this was fun and I can't wait to use resin again. For my first attempt, not so shabby. And since I filmed it, and I promise you guys no more Halloween videos, but you know, I filmed it, so I wanted to share it with you. He turned out pretty stinking cute. You could fill your mold with so many different things, flowers, uh, um, mini skulls, that would be kind of cool. Um, put, I don't know, what else would you put in a skull? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful week and I'll see you on Tuesday. Love y'all. Bye.